Hi everybody, this is Melissa, your Free Range Psychic. Today is April 7th, 2024, and we're going to have a solar eclipse tomorrow. We won't have another one for 30 years. So I, I live in Michigan, southeastern Michigan, and everybody I talk to almost seems to be heading towards uh, Ohio. And, and not that far away from here, really. It's only like 45 minutes or something to get to Toledo. And I guess that's where the arc starts of the solar eclipse, where all the special, uh, I want to say special effects, but I guess it's, uh, you know, lumi things are luminescent and neon, and it's a trick of the uh, light with the eye processing uh, color. And it's supposed to be pretty spectacular. And there's going to be uh, over like a half a million people heading towards Ohio uh, because that's the perfect place to see it or one of them because it's actually it goes all, all the way to New Mexico but you know when you're on uh, my side of the country and people are going to Indiana also so I, I wonder if any of you are uh, especially uh, preparing for the eclipse <laughs> my guys just tell me it's going to be intense kind of like in, I said the full moon was intense well there's an intensity really here tomorrow in uh, past cultures there had been a lot of <laughs> Uh, ceremony and possibly sacrifice and all kinds of stuff going on because people didn't think the sun was ever going to come back. You know, they if, if something went wrong, if their prayers didn't work. Ah, big event. Okay, so uh, today uh, my guides wanted me to do a reading on Lara Trump. And uh, I'm using the Gilded Tarot from the Easy Tarot Kit by... Sarah Marchetti, and also we're going to have requested by my guides a card from the Healing with the Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. Uh, before I start, I have decided to do a live on Thursday, this coming Thursday, and I think 1 o'clock Eastern is a good time because for people on the west side, the west coast, it's not too early, uh, and it's also... Uh, not too late for people on my side of, of the country. And then uh, it works also for anybody in between <laughs> in the time zones. But I will be putting out a reminder. And if you want to get a reminder, just uh, hit the subscribe, or not the subscribe, yes, please subscribe if you're not already, but hit the notification bell and you'll get a notification. All right, here we go. <laughs> So please, everybody, what is this card <laughs> that is at the uh, center of the reading? Ah, oh, surprise, surprise, it's the devil. So this is Trump, of course, Donald J. Trump. And the card that clarifies it or comes along with it is the Fool. So the guides say this represents Lara Trump. <laughs> so Lara is being put in a position where she has really very little inkling as to what it really means. They say that she's had experience with like fundraising for charities and fundraising at, you know, Trump events. But the whole, uh, uh, I want to say spectrum or, you know, infrastructure, I, I should say, of fundraising for the uh, GOP and that, typically means not just for the president, but for all uh, of the uh, uh, elections that the or, or the people who are running for the GOP in all the elections believe that would be local, state and national that, you know, this is for all of them. But she's not aware of that. So she comes in as a fool. Also, for other nefarious reasons, she's been chosen and, and, and this suits them very very well and, and when i say them I, i'm talking about trump and you know the people who work behind the scenes with trump trying to get him in here she's perfect to replace rona right uh and the lovers comes up for this also as a clarification card so the hook for laura to take this position well for one, it's her ego. She's extremely egotistical in a stupid way. She just thinks, of course I can do this job. Why not? You know, 
because uh, I am Lara Trump and yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she will fall for flattery really easily because, you know, she really thinks so much of herself because she has such a limited scope of what it really means. And here is uh, her father-in-law lifting her up into a higher position of uh, power and prominence. And that is why I believe she married his son in the first place. Also could be represented by uh, this card, <laughs> the Eric, right? The Fool. And my guides tell me, allegedly, it was an arranged marriage. If you want to uh, see this card also as a marriage between Lara and Eric, and it was to lift her up so she could achieve her ambitions. It was perfect for her. It wasn't about love or attraction. It was about what it meant for her and her trajectory. Above is the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This is the, you know, super PACs and the monies of the Republican Party or the National Committee. And this is her job, which is to raise the money and then to disperse the money choose where it's dispersed and to c control the flow. In the past, this is the three of pentacles. And this is simply what went on behind the scenes for Trump to get Laurie into that position and to get Rana out of that position. And he did a lot of wheeling and dealing. Why? Because to siphon money to his uh, ever increasing <laughs> legal uh, fund uh, necessities or legal fund bank. And also to this is the card of the thief and it could also be the card of plunder. And I th uh, the guides pointed my attention to the disparity here of you have these two swords left, but you have this thief walking off with five of them. So he's he's taking the lion's share of the resources here. And that, that's what, what Laura's, Lara, I should say, is meant to accomplish here. However, the future card, interesting. This is very interesting reading for me, illuminating, I should say, is the nine of swords. And so the guides say that it this is going to become a nightmare for her because behind the scenes, she's going to be asked to do things that are highly illegal and could get her into trouble. I mean, could get her uh, uh, jailed or, or, or put in prison. And, and she gets scared because she, it's very brazen. And much uh, what she's asked to do, and, and, and very much more than she bargained for here. And as time goes on also, and, you know, Donald Trump looks like he's not going to be a president, and these things are going to be found out. That's what she's, she's terrified. And she's terrified also because she's been placed in a position being so foolish as to not having any idea of how she's being maneuvered and manipulated. We're here in the clarification card, she becomes trapped by her own deeds that she's been told to do, but she is going to take the fall. This is the hangman and she's caught. And initially, she's blindly going along, thinking she's helping, you know, her father-in-law and doing everything she can, and she's getting all this praise. But then the reality is she's poised herself to be hung out to dry here with no recourse, thrown under the bus, doing these highly illegal, and I guess you could call them embezzlement, uh, type uh, um, 
actions that, that or <laughs> yeah, I, I guess acts would be the correct word for that, where they could be called embezzlement uh, and and theft. <laughs> And who she's stealing from in the outcome card. She's stealing from the Trumpers, you know, the MAGA, who are so <laughs> uh, also blindly. <laughs> Fool comes up here again, which is probably why I chose the uh, car uh, circus music <laughs> to begin with. It's called Carney's Dance by Kevin McCloyd. Um and really stealing from the poor for the most of it. And uh, all that, you know, <laughs> uh, geo all the GOP talking points that try to get them terrified and uh, thinking the world's going to end and, you know, QAnon and all that so that they dish out money that they can ill afford to the Republican Party. So this card's representing Lara Trump. And we really, I guess, could reverse it here because what happens is that <laughs> this money, so it's also from super PACs and foreign you know, countries, et cetera, but the, the real people that she's trying to bilk are the, you know, the, the ever dwindling MAGA, although there's enough of them to continue to bilk and they, they do seem to, you know, keep on shelling out money. And she, she's losing it. They're giving it to her and it's just draining away. And it's uh, just being siphoned off to Trump to pay his legal fees and to sustain his lifestyle. It's just one huge grift, allegedly. <laughs> I don't know why I keep on saying allegedly, because it gets... So obvious, you know, um, look at Trump University and all the other grifts that Trump has done. You'd think people would learn, but no, unfortunately. <laughs> Where is that card? The Fool. Yep. Yep. And then finally, Five of Cups, because this ends in disaster for her. It destroys her ambitions, her uh political desires, and it, it, it really ends up uh, uh, coming back on her. So, you know, her sitting through House committees and having to be grilled by the DOJ and <laughs> uh, this all becomes public. It's, it's not something that's hidden. And they're gearing her up to take the fall. It all... It all Anyway, the intent of it, I want to say, uh, Trump and his cohorts, they wanted to fall on her. So it's a betrayal. But she has no idea of that. So, and she's a perfect pawn. She's perfect for this role. Not suspecting a thing, but it's going to be a, a pretty... Uh, terrible nightmare to, to wake up to, which is what the Nine of Swords is really saying. Okay, that's uh, my reading on uh, Laura, or Lara, sorry. And I'd be interested to know what you think. We are going to move on to the Oracle card chosen for us by the guides from the Healing of Angels Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue, as I earlier uh, uh, said, and the card is Divine Guidance. Card meeting. Trust and follow your intuition. It is God and the angel speaking to you. You are being divinely guided right now. That gut feeling you have, the knowingness, the visions, or the inner voice are all trying to tell you something. And it is very important that you must uh, and trust and follow this guidance. If you uh, drew this card, pay, pay close attention. Uh, this card 
is telling you that the angels seek to impress upon you to listen to this message. So it's trust your intuition. You're being guided divinely. Okay, you guys, I want to thank, again, everybody who's left this, these wonderful reviews on my book, <laughs> A Bridge of Light, How to, How to Pray to Angels. And I, I, I just, I don't even know if I have the words. It's wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I um, am still available for personal readings. I read on anything in the present, including past and pre uh, present and future in this lifetime. And I will uh, read on past lives and anything uh, to do with uh, your spirit team. And, you know, I always say this, I love to introduce you to your guardian angels. <laughs> and I'm also a medium. My information is below in the description box and at the end of the musical interlude coming up, which I hope you stick around for. Please take care and yeah, be careful tomorrow. Don't, don't look directly at the sun. <laughs> Unlike Trump, do you remember that, that eclipse? Uh, but I hope you'll have a really good experiences tomorrow. Whatever you do, you take care and I will uh, see you, whoever joins my live on uh, Thursday, okay? 1 p.m. Eastern. Bye-bye.